Hey, Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Selena Gomez just did a very intimate and vulnerable interview with Rolling Stone magazine that I really want to go over with you guys. The singer actress is now 30 years old and uh, talking about her future and whether or not children will be a part of that, perhaps even marriage. One thing she did say was that she thought she would be married by now. And I believe she also said that she thought that she would have children by now. But we all know that uh, life plays out the way that it plays out, despite what you imagine it looking like for yourself. So uh, Selena actually said that she unfortunately may not be able to carry her own children. Um, and we're gonna get into why in this video. So in the interview, Selena Gomez says that she is on two medications to manage her bipolar disorder. And that is why she might not be able to get pregnant. She said, and I quote, that's a very big, big present thing in my life, but however I'm meant to have them, I will. Um, she actually um, was diagnosed with bipolar in 2019. She spoke about how she started hearing uh, voices in 2018, had a lot of paranoia. Uh, she wasn't able to trust anyone. She felt like everybody was out to get her. And that kind of um, led to her uh, going to, away to treatment. Uh, unfortunately, when she was in treatment, she was loaded up with too many medications. And I imagine that that had a zombie effect on her, which is something that you typically hear from people who are over medicated. But thankfully for Selena Gomez, ever since she started working with uh, the, psychi the, the psychiatrist that she's working with now, she's able to wean down to just two medications. Even though she's only on two medications, they seem to be strong enough to where it might not be advisable for her to go forward with a pregnancy. So she actually said, and I quote, I had to detox essentially from the medications that I was on. I had to learn how to remember certain words. I would forget where I was when we were talking. It took a lot of hard work for me to A, accept that I was bipolar and B, learn how to deal with it because it wasn't going to go away. Um, this really is quite sad. Not only has Selena Gomez dealt with bipolar disorder, she also dealt with depression, particularly in her early 20s. She said that um, things would start with depression, go into isolation, and then it was just her not being able to move from her bed. She didn't want to talk to anyone. Her friends would bring her food because they love her, but none of us knew what it was. Sometimes it was weeks I'd be in bed to where even walking downstairs would get me out of breath. Wow, that really is quite sad. It led to her contemplating perhaps um, taking her own life, um, but thankfully she never actually attempted that. She felt as though uh, the world would have been better if she wasn't there, which we all know is categorically not true. Listen, I do have to applaud Selena Gomez for really being willing to go there and open up with her fans in this interview because it cannot be easy to talk about all these deeply private uh, medical um, uh, issues that she's been dealing with over the years. And, you know, we covered uh, depression, we covered bipolar disorder, but don't forget, she also suffers from Lyme disease. So our poor Selena really has been going through it in her very, very young life. So let's just send out all the positive vibes in the world. Um, it seems like she really does want to step into that next phase in her life where she is a mom. And um, like she says, she doesn't have to carry her own babies, right? Like she is open to becoming a mom in any other way. So that could be uh, through a surrogate, that could be through adoption, that could be through a multitude of things. We'll just have to wait and see how that pans out for Selena. But in the meantime, let's just send her all the good vibes in the world and wish her luck. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know how you feel about Selena Gomez's health journey in the comment section down below.